I was told that she's um, getting herself ready to make her entrance, so maybe we should sit for a little while. My apologies. I'm just getting the communications now. Sorry. Ben, you could continue. And um, as soon as she's actually ready, we will alert you. Thank you very much. I was just signaled that the Governor General is actually ready to um, make our entrance, so please let us stand again. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. We have now witnessed the arrival of Her Excellency James Cecile Lagrenat, Governor General of Grenada, Caricou, and PT Martinique. You may be seated. We will now witness the procession of the TAM CC awardees. Legend, College Band.
you very much, T.A. Marishal Community College Band, for playing this song for us for the arrival and the procession of our wadis. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to open the ceremony with prayers. Let us all stand as Deacon Raphael Johnson of the Diocese of St. George's ask God's blessings on this evening's proceedings. Please remain standing for the national anthem after the prayer, which will be led by Jaylene Jones, a year two TAM CC student. So I acknowledge the presence of our dear Governor General, your Excellency, Dame Cecile Lavinel, Minister of Education, Youth, Sport, and Culture, Senator the, Honor, the Honorable David Andrew, Chairperson of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenade, and members of the College Council, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports, and Culture, Mr. Elvis Moraine, the Principal of T.A. Marishow Community College, Dr. Ronald Burnton, Registrar, Ms. Mava Bowen, Neptune. Distinguished featured speaker, Dr. Carlin Henry. And all other specially invited guests. And for you, all who are here, a very special welcome and greetings. And a pleasant good evening to one and all. I want to begin this invocation by extending a warm, heartfelt congratulations to you, the awardees, on your great achievement. And may God continue to bless you, strengthen you, and inspire you so that you will achieve even greater things in the future. Proverbs 16, 3 tells us, commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. And this explains, of course, why I'm here at the podium. My presence here this evening is just bearing out that reading from Proverbs, because it's only right and fitting that we commit this ceremony to the Lord through our opening prayer for his blessing. And I'm sure I have no doubt that the awardees themselves during the successful journey, they too would have committed their work to the Lord at one time or another. Especially when undergoing trying time, difficult situation, I know they, most of them, if not all of them, may have gone to the Lord for help. Another very relevant scripture for this very special occasion it's taken from Isaiah chapter 29, verses 11 to 13. I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. They are plans for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. When you call me and come and pray to me, I will listen to you. When you search for me, yes, search for me with all your heart, you will find me. So believe it or not, brothers and sisters, the Lord has great plans for all of us. Unfortunately, on many occasions, we are so intent on pursuing our own personal plans, we ignore God's plan for us. And many times to our detriment. And as Isaiah reminds us, God's plan for us is to bring us peace hope, success, and not disaster. So all we need to do to discern his plans for us is to go to him in prayer, seek him with all our hearts. And so this evening, I want to invite all of you to join me as we do just that. We go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the awardees, thanking you for what they have been able to achieve so far. 
We pray for all who have supported them on the journey, parents, guardians, family, friends, teachers, the TMRE Show Community College providing the structure for them to excel, and by extension, the government of Grenada, government and people of Grenada. We pray that as they continue the journey, according to Isaiah, they will seek you with all their heart. And listen to you so that they will be blessed with even more success. We pray that their plans for the future will coincide with your plans for them. And we pray for continuous support from loved ones. We bring all these prayers to the Lord with thanksgiving as we pray together the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. So glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen and amen. Jaylene, a year two student of the T.A. Marischal Community College. You may be seated. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, and Human Resource Development, Senator the Honorable David Andrew, Chairperson of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenade, and other members of the College Council, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports, Culture, and Human Resource Development, Mr. Elvis Moraine, Principal of the T.A. Marishal Community College, Dr. Ronald Brunton, Distinguished Featured Speaker, Dr. Caroline Henry Parker, Lead Division Director, St. George's University, Deacon of the Diocese of St. George's, and Coordinator of the Mechanical Engineering Department, Mr. Raphael Johnson, esteemed representative of the corporate community, awardees of the 2023 graduating class, representatives of the media, parents, relatives, 
and other well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to you. My name is Marva Boy Neptune, and it gives me great honor and pleasure to chair this evening's proceeding under the theme, Celebrating Academic Excellence. I am pleased to welcome you to this grand occasion that celebrates the culmination of two years, in some cases one, and in other cases three years, for students who would have worked hard, relentlessly pursued knowledge. These are the Wadis that are here tonight. Awardees, this evening, the spotlight is on you. You are a star. Shine, shine bright like a diamond. The red carpet has been rolled out for you. And guess what? You deserve it. Let's give them a round of applause. We want to recognize you because you have done exceptionally well. You have not only excelled academically, but also demonstrated great leadership in your academics, commitment to making a positive impact in your lives, the lives of your parents and the Grenadian community. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening is historic because it is the first time we as a college have dismantled the or disaggregated the award segment of our annual graduation ceremony to have a special ceremony just for our top performers. As a college community, we feel that we weren't celebrating them enough, and this moment, this afternoon, is for us to do just that. So, we want to recognize them, and we want to applaud them, and we want to congratulate them as a Grenadian community. We are very, very proud of them. We also recognize the College Council here today, Government of Grenada, Ministry of Education. Uh, we want to recognize our um, senior management team, all the, de the deans and associate dean lecturers, those of you who have poured into these young people to make them what they are today. We want to recognize you, celebrate you, and tell you thanks. I want to ask that you sit back and relax and enjoy the ceremony. I now invite Ms. Andrea McLeod, who is the chair of the Arts and Humanities Department, to officially welcome you to the ceremony. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency, Dame Cecile Lagrenade, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, and Human Resource Development, Senator the Honorable David Andrew, Chairperson of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenade, and members of the College Council. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, and Human Resource Development, Mr. Elvis Moraine. Principal, Dr. Ronald Brunton. Registrar, Mrs. Marva Bowen-Neptune. Administration, faculty, and staff of the college. Distinguished featured, distinguished featured speaker, Dr. Caroline Henry Packer. Lead Division Div Director, St. George's University. Deacon of the Diocese of St. George's and Coordinator of the Mechanical Engineering Department, Mr. Raphael Johnson. Esteemed representatives of the corporate community. Awardees of the 2023 graduating class. Representatives of the media, parents, relatives, and other well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen, a most pleasant good evening to all. My name is Andrea McLeod, Chair for the Department of Arts and Humanities, and it is my great privilege and pleasure to welcome you to the first T.A. Marishaw Community College Academic Awards Ceremony. On behalf of the college community, 
I extend a particularly warm welcome to the awardees from the graduating class of 2023, for whom we are here tonight. We are here to celebrate their accomplishments. The Academic Awards Ceremony celebrates outstanding academic excellence achieved throughout a student's time at TAMCC. In addition, special awards are presented by our sponsors and industry partners in recognition of the remarkable qualities of so many of our students. Tonight, we witness the results of dedication, determination, and diligence as well as the ability to remain focused whilst navigating so many modern day distractions and challenges. I would especially like to thank the parents, guardians, and all who have contributed to the success of the awardees here tonight. You must feel so proud. Without your dedication and support, the awardees may not be here. So give yourself a round of applause. As a teacher of art, a quote by the artist Leonardo da Vinci comes to mind. He said, it has long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. You are the people who are going to go out and happen to things. To all the stakeholders, distinguished guests, corporate partners, management teams, faculty, family members, and all supporters of excellence, thank you for being here. I would also like to thank the Trade Center staff, the caterers, and all others who have worked so hard behind the scenes to make this event possible. We now look forward to having a wonderful evening on this special occasion. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Andrea McLeod. I now invite Ms. Trelona Charles to introduce our featured speaker Dr. Caroline Henry Parker. Governor General of Grenada, Her Excellency Dame Cecil Lagrenade, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, Senator the Honorable David Andrew, Chairperson of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenada, and members of the College Council, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, Mr. Elvis Maureen, Principal, Dr. Arnold Branton, Registrar, Mrs. Marva Bowen Neptune, Administration, Faculty and Staff of the College, Distinguished Featured Speaker, Dr. Caroline Henry Parker, Lead Division Director, St. George's University, Deacon of the Diocese of St. George's and Coordinator of the Mechanical Engineering Department, Mr. Raphael Johnson, Esteemed representatives of the corporate community, awardees of the 2023 graduating class, representatives of the media, parents, relatives, and other well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Dr. Caroline J. Henry Parker is the director of the Master of Education Program, director of the Leadership Excellence Academic Development Division, and Assistant Professor in Master of Education and Faculty Development Programs in the Department of Educational Service at St. George's University. Dr. Henry Parker is a graduate of TAM CC and the St. George's, St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's. Dr. Henry Parker earned a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication from Midwestern State University a Master of Arts in Liberal Studies with an emphasis in sociology from the CUNY Brooklyn College and a PhD in Curriculum and Instruction from the University of North Texas. Her teaching philosophy centers on reimagined curriculum design and pedagogies. Her work in curriculum design encompasses socio-emotional teaching and learning 
while her scholarship delves into critical storytelling and student voice in responsive teaching. Her research areas include issues in diversity and inclusive education. Dr. Henry Parker's work in education spans 17 years and includes clinical teaching in field experiences in pre-service teacher preparation, in social studies and English language arts in higher education. Dr. Henry Parker works as an educational consultant and partners with organizations such as Mind Up and You Are the Difference in North America, particularly in areas of mindfulness and kindness. She has presented at various conferences and most recently presented her research on the topic of student voice at the Caribbean Studies Association held in St. Croix in June of this year. She is the founder of Education Collective Grenada, a volunteer network of experts in education, youth, and management in service to Grenada. She is a founding member of Generation Grenada Foundation, a community-oriented nonprofit dedicated to serving causes of minoritized and marginalized. The organization makes donations of time, resources, and expertise to identified benef beneficiaries in Grenada. She is also a program board member of the Institute for Caribbean Studies, a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization established in 1993, dedicated to education, advocacy, and action on issues that impact Caribbean Americans. In this role, Dr. Henry Parker contributes to policy documents and attends meetings with the US State Department to advocate on behalf of Caribbean Americans and the Caribbean region. ICS was instrumental in developing the legislation which recognizes June as National Caribbean American Heritage Month. Lastly, in addition to education, children, and the youth, Dr. Henry Parker is passionate about community development, wellness, nature, and the stewardship of the environment. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this evening's guest speaker, Dr. Caroline Henry Parker. Good evening, everyone. I want to first uh, thank those who went before me for acknowledging the presence of those uh, in the audience. And, and so with that protocol being established, I will go directly into my little uh, talk today. So first of all, I am extremely humbled um, to have received this invitation to address you here today as a featured speaker. So let me first thank T.A. Marshall Community College and the team for the confidence that they have placed in me. I do have to let them know that my 12-year-old daughter told me that no one will remember what I will say here today. <laughs> Now, to my credit, she said this not having heard my talk or seen my presentation. So let's keep hope alive, right? But she has a point, right? Um, I'm competing with a lot because there's a lot going on in our lives. Uh, we are facing unprecedented changes right now, both on the local and the global stage. But this can be an exciting time, a time for rebirthing new ideas, and what's more, a time for new energy. And I know that this catalytic energy resides with you young people, distinctly and powerfully. And so for this reason, hopefully all the phones are away, if they aren't, I'm inviting you to just put them away and maybe suspend whatever thoughts you were having up until now so we can talk a little bit about the theme for this award ceremony, celebrating a spirit of academic excellence. So 
It wasn't that long ago, well, at least so it feels, because time goes by really quickly, right? That I too was where you now sit in your educational journey. And I cannot say that at 18 years old, I had the greatest clarity of what future awaited me. I would say that at this moment in my life, I was simply elated to have stayed the course and have made it to the end, right? So I'm proud of each of you for doing the same. And I know that those gathered here today share that pride. Your family, your friends, the faculty and the staff of T.A. Marshall Community College, they're proud of you for not only staying the course, but also committing yourself to high levels of excellence. Focus, commitment, and a standard of excellence have now become part of your TAMCC legacy. This legacy will follow you from the halls of this institution and into the unwinding and unpredictable roads of higher education, where hopefully I will see you in the Master of Education program. Uh, it will follow you to work, and wherever life will take you. I am confident, and I am absolutely irresolute in my belief that as a result of this legacy, you will go into the world as the shining stars that you are, convinced of your capacity to illuminate the dark spaces and to blaze your own trails. And you may be asking yourself, well, why am I confident of this? Well, researchers tell us that a person's sense of self is formed in their mid to late teens. And they say it remains fixed for the rest of their lives. So in other words, the values and the mindsets about how you show up and how you take up space wherever you go, it's being evidenced right here today. It is your focus, it is your commitment, and it is your standard of excellence that will be your driving force. As I look back at my own time at TAMCC, I can say that without a doubt, this accomplishment, this transition from junior college was a game changer in my education journey. And it would sow seeds into the garden of my professional endeavors. However, and yes, there is a however, there's a, there must be a but, and there's a disclaimer there. And it needs to be said. These values and, and the mindsets, they're not going to prevent, they're not going to circumvent the inevitable challenges and failures that are part and parcel of your growth and your future success. One might argue that your fortitude, which has not yet been fully developed, it absolutely requires every challenge and every failure in order to become robust, to become strong, and to become absolutely impenetrable. In fact, let's, let's take a little walk down memory lane a little bit more. You know, this institution's namesake, Theophilus Albert Marisho, right? Such a distinguished name, right? Our Caribbean beacon. What a striking example of a person whose focus, whose commitment, and whose standard of excellence propelled him from very, very humble beginnings to a bright future. You know, as the son 
of a small-scale cocoa farmer who was raised by his godmother, he faced both personal and professional challenges, and from a very early age, all the way through his latter years. And in spite of that, actually, let's, let's take that back, I would say, because of these challenges, which came up against his focus, his commitment, and his professional ambitions, Theophilus became known as the father of the Federation and the elder statesman of the Caribbean. Theophilus's biography provides an impressive and long resume of accomplishments. And his legacy has certainly rippled out into the wider region. It was around the 1980s when school children in Guyana, for example, were still using colonial era textbooks showing illustrations of white children in English homes. But then we had a new series of primary school textbooks developed, and these, some of you may know, were the Marisho readers. So even after his passing, all of those beautiful traits continue to linger on. And Theophilus, he continued to play a critical role in not only challenging the status quo, but contributing to decolonizing school curriculum in the Caribbean. So people like Theophilus, we tend to make martyrs of, right? We, we tend to make heroes of. Those whose bright lights, whose work leave an absolutely indelible impression. But I want to invite us to consider something, right? So some scholars, they refer to something called herification. And this is how they define it. They, they say it's a process that is popularly agreed on by a majority. And what does the majority do? They tag a personality with heroic characteristics without the conscious knowledge of the personality's weaknesses. Thus, they say, these researchers, they say, herification uh, segregates the important attributes of the person and presents a flawless outlook of the person in the public eye, right? And so the herification process, what does it do? It transforms the individuals and essentially it, it makes them pious. They become perfect creatures, right? Without conflict, without pain. And so when we think of those heroes, we think of those people maybe as having different or better traits than we have, and I want to challenge that a little bit. So you're probably thinking about a few people. A few names are probably coming to mind right now, right? Folks whose whole story you never quite knew, but that one striking, maybe heroic characteristic is what you attach their name to. So I want to invite you to consider thinking of these people as whole people not just the achievements they made, but the mistakes they made as well. If we see them as flawed, as infallible people, just like you and just like me, you know, if we can take them down from the pedestal and if we put them next to us and look at them a little closely, we may discover that we see a neighbor Maybe we see an uncle, an auntie, a nene, a mother, a father, a godparent, a person in our community. So why make this point? I make this point to illustrate maybe the obvious. The obvious point is that you, your voice, your work, is as important as that of a Theophilus. 
Your work is necessary and important to the community tapestry that moves our island forward, right? So small up yourself in the bus, so make space for somebody else to come in. But don't small up your dreams. No, not at all. Your dreams and your ambitions, let them remain big, bigger than you can ever imagine. Let them grow and grow and cascade into the unimaginable, right? Because you have the capacity, you are demonstrating this today, right? To achieve excellence. Your work is sacrosanct. It is as important as the work of Theophilus Albert Marischal. So it is only fitting then that in celebrating the spirit of ex excellence embodied by this institution's namesake, we journey down memory lane so that we can begin to map out what buttresses, what undergirds, what's the foundation of our success, right? So the celebration of your success today, I hope it reminds you, I hope it reminds us all that we are in community, celebrating that you are being prayed for, you're being lifted up by your elders and the ancestors. Please remember that folks are depending on you, and I hope that you are depending on this young version of yourself who has now known success. That this young version of you has been sufficiently prepared to take on new challenges, to push back and to push forward. Challenge those who supervise you, albeit respectfully, Speak to them about changes in the climate and sustainability and hold them as you hold yourself accountable for driving change. Lead innovative ways to think about production and service, business and industry, health and education. Broaden the scope of what we do as Grenadians so that we can trade in the commodities of not only North American and Chinese made pants and shorts and t-shirts and strainer and I want to remind you that your success as well is chained up to your neighbor's failures. And in celebrating you today, there must be a mention of this African proverb. It says, each one teach one. It's been adopted by all sorts of people all over the world, right? In South Africa, during the time of apartheid, when Africans were denied access to English, and it's been used for several literacy campaigns in Nigeria. And today, I want to implore you, I want to implore each of you, I think it's 54 or 55 of you who are being awarded here today, share your success with someone, your gifts, they're needed and they're valuable in our Grenadian landscape. Each one, teach one in the things that you are being recognized and awarded for today. And finally, as you leave this celebration today, I encourage you to bring curiosity integrity, and a crystal clear Grenadian identity into the world of adults. Stay curious. Stay curious about the way things are and be relentless in making a difference. It is not only your civic responsibility, it's your academic responsibility, it's your moral responsibility. Your developed intellect is to be used outside the halls of the institution and practice integrity, grow it, exercise it, spread it like wildfire. Doing the right thing when no one is watching, when no one expects a report, is a challenge worth achieving. And lastly, know your identity, know who you are. In the words of, and I'll take this from convent now, in the words of Desiderata, you 
54, 55 celebrants, awardees. You are the child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars, you have a right to be here, and especially here in Grenada. Your navel string, where it buried? It buried amongst the dirt, the sweat, the tears, and the toil of this Christian jab jab people. And so may you never forget, as Maya, Maya Angelou once said, though you come as one, you stand as 10,000, because you never stand alone. And let me also impart this piece of advice, something that has worked for me. Don't be afraid to adopt the energy and the ways of being of those in the community whose essence provokes you, whose character and moral uprightness, whose connection to community inspires you. I've done this over the years, and many of those people I've never said a word to in my life. People like Cheryl Curtin, and others who have had the benefit of being in a closer circle. People like Jeanette Dubois. You need not have a prolonged or a close relationship with those you admire, such that they become your mentors. But I advise you, create space. And by that I mean, be observant, continue to be curious. Watch what you see that has a positive impact. So that those more knowledgeable others can become your cheerleaders. Take them with you as you continue the journey of discovering who you are and whose you are. And never forget, you are our children, our sons and daughters. We hold high expectations for you. But know that those do not define the expectations you are creating for yourself. So here's the part that makes this a memorable moment that I can go home and tell my daughter I have proof that it will be remembered. I invite the community, that is Theophilus Albert Marischal Community College, the faculty, the staff, the well-wishers here present to stand and join me in giving a loud, not like before, a loud and boisterous round of applause to each of our 54, 55 celebrants today. Thank you so much, you may sit. Thank you for indulging me. So this is a first, right? It's the first time that the, the college has done this. And that means something too, to you celebrants, to you awardees, right? Something that also becomes part of your legacy. I congratulate you, we congratulate you, and we celebrate you. Go blaze your trail. Thank you. So on behalf of the TA Marisha Community College and all of our awardees tonight, um, I do have a token of our appreciation here for Dr. Henry Parker. We do want to thank her for her extremely moving address and I'm sure that she can go home to tell her daughter <laughs> that not only did she make an impact on our awardees, but she made an impact on everyone at the Trade Center tonight.
Thank you, Ms. Charles, and thank you, Dr. Caroline Henry Parker. Katie Danglade is a second year student of the T. Marishaw Community College. I now invite him to give a special performance, Lean on Me. Sometimes in our lives We all have pain We all have sorrows For if we are wise We know that there's Always tomorrow Lean on me When you're not strong be your friend. I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. Please swallow your pride by have the things you need to borrow for those of your needs cannot be filled if you won't let it show you just go on your brother if you need a hand we all need somebody to lean on just might have a problem if you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on. Yeah. Strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. For it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. Yeah. Sometimes in our lives we all have pain and we all have sorrows for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Very good singing. I think we can do better. The, the, the young man can sing. I, I endorse him. He can sing very well. Enjoy it very much. Thank you very much. I am pleased to welcome you. Sorry, my script. I'm getting mixed up here. Um, thank you, Katie, again. So we have come to the part of the ceremony where we're going to honor the awardees. 
and we're going to honor them for excellence in their programs. And these students are from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies, from the School of Applied Arts and Technology, and from the School of Continuing Education. These students have demonstrated commendable performances during their tenure at the college. These awards are sponsored for 50 private sector companies in Grenada, Caricou, and P.T. Martinique. I think we deserve a hand. Sponsors, you have paid for this, and the College Council, and the T.A. Marshall College community, thank you. These awards are given on the basis of academic excellence for some, and for others, performance in their subject areas or their majors. We are going to call the awards in alphabetical order on a school basis, and we invite the recipients of these 2023 awards for academic excellence, and that means they have attained a GPA of 3.5 and above, some lower, but they are the top in their programs. So some students have GPAs of 3.97, 3.95, and so on and so on. I invite Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenard, our Governor General, to assist in the distribution of award cords to the recipient. I also invite the corporate sponsors who have financed the awards to assist with presenting the awards to the recipients. The photographer must stand by and deans, if the recipient is not here, we ask that you collect on their behalf. I now will move to invite the recipient for the program in Arts and Humanities to accept her award. The sponsor is George F. Huggins and Company Limited and the recipient is Atalia Walcott. The marketing officer, Ms. Mahira Nelson, will present the academic award. The next award is for business. The sponsor is Fortune Foods Company Limited. The recipient of this award is Sachelle Alves. Ms. Lucia Mitchell will present the award. So, um, Audine, 
Mr. David Ambrose is going to accept on her behalf. She's unable to be here. <laughs> the next award is for English the sponsor is Grenville Cooperative Credit Union. The recipient of this award is Megan Gray. Michelle Harris Fields will present the award on behalf of Grenville Cooperative Credit Union. Mr. Ambrose again, and some of you may probably find that some of them they are not here some of them are already away studying because our graduation is late this year thank you thank you very much the next award is for Natural Sciences. The recipient of this award is Rochelle Griffith. And the sponsor is Bailey's Funeral Home. By the way, Ms. Griffith is one of the recipients that has a GPA of 3.97. And I think she deserves a lusty round of applause. Uh, Mr. Courtney Bailey or Miss Courtney Bailey is here and she's going to present the award to Miss Griffith. The next award is for General Studies. Marker School and Office Outlet is a sponsor. The recipient of this award is Ms. Kadeen Pascal. Mr. Daniel Jeleno will present the award to Ms. Pascal. <laughs> Mr. Marcus, we normally call him affectionately. And he was here doing this since he was a very tiny tot. And now he's a student of the TA Marshall Community College. Thank you very much, Marcus. The next award is for Office Administration. The sponsor is Brighton and Miners. The recipient of this award is Deanna Jeremiah. We asked one of the deans to present to Tiana. We, there's no one here for Brighton's. So, Mr. Ambrose, that's a SAPS award. You have the honor again. So, you're going to present the um, The next award is for Nutrition and Dietetics. The sponsor is D Sports Shop. The recipient of this award is Lutetia Caliste. And Mr. Victor Daniel is going to present the award to her. We can do better than that. It's a top award. 
Let's keep it lively and let's, let's make them feel proud and make them feel happy. The next award is for pharmacy. The sponsor is Hills and Valley Pharmacy. The recipient for this award is Ariel Ned. Miss Rhonda Cyrus will present the award to Ariel. The next award is for Physical Education and Sports. The sponsor is National Lottery Authority. The recipient of this award is Thad Justin. Mr. Cecil Grenage will present to Thad. Is Mr. Grenage here? Yes, he is. The next award is for psychology. The sponsor is Jonas Brown and Hubbard's Limited. The recipient of this award is Nikosi Francois Hopkin. Miss Mistress Lesser Peters will present on behalf of Hubbard's, Jonas Brown and Hubbard's. Oh, she's not here, Mr. Ambrose. You have a little work to do today. But you dress nicely, and so we're loving to see you up here. And you're here, and the shirt, everything is just on point. Love it. Social Sciences. The sponsor is Grenada Development Bank, and the recipient for this award is Natalia Olivier. Ms. Stacian Simon Simpson, Projects Officer, is going to present this award tonight. The next award is for social work. The sponsor, Arisa Credit Union. Recipient for this award is Desalyn Williams. Mrs. Mrs. Josephine Walters. Marketing manager is going to present. Thank you very much. That was the academic awards from the School of Art Sciences and Professional Studies. We move to the School of Applied Arts and Technology. Uh, the Dean, please stand by. If the Dean is not here, a representative from the school, um, stand by please, the Associate Dean. Um, we're going to start with Automotive Service Technology. The sponsor is National Lottery Authority. The recipient for this award is Shackel Church. And Mr. Grenage is going to present again to this awardee.
The next award is for Building Trades and Services. The sponsor, D Sports Shop. The recipient for this award is Misha Klein, Miss Victor, Mr. Victor Daniel. Well, I'm, is he here? Yes, he is. Mr. Daniel is going to present the award to Misha Klein. The next award is for Building Technology. The sponsor is Creative Design and Building Construction Company Limited. The recipient of this award is called Donna Mendo Mendo Donka. To present the award, uh, the sponsor is not here. The Associate Dean, Ms. Shanika Charles, is going to present the award to Mendonka. Kodana Mendonka. Oh, except Kodana is not here. So a representative from um, Creative Design and Building is here to present the award. Ms. Charles is going to receive on behalf of the student. The next award is for Computer Systems Technology. The sponsor is Grenada Trade Center. The recipient of this award is Garvin Griffith. And we're asking uh, um, the school, Ms. Charles, don't sit um, to present the award because we do not have a representative from the Grenada Trade Center here. If we do, they can come forward. Do we? Oh, do, oh, we, oh Mr. Biddle is here. Let's give Mr. Biddle a hand. <laughs> he has been working really well with us to make this happen. Thank you so very much. The next award is Culinary Arts. The sponsor is Spice Island Beach Resort. The recipient for this award is Anna Laguerre. We do not have a representative, so Ms. Charles, we ask you to be so kind as to present on their behalf. Thank you. We'd like to thank our Governor General for assisting us with the distribution of the honor cards. We will take a short break from this and we would have a musical presentation. And that presentation would be done by Marcus Smith, who is one of our students from the School of Applied Arts and Technology. Marcus.
Thank you, Marcus. Honorable Minister for Education, Youth, Sports, and Culture, Human Resource Development, Honorable David Andrew, I invite you to assist in the distribution of award cards to the recipients. We're going to continue with the School of Applied Arts and Technology. Then we are going to move to the School of Continuing Education. And that's when we're going to ask our Dean, Ms. Lorraine Alexander, to assist us in some cases. And we're asking Ms. Charles to stand by just in case uh, someone is not here. So the first uh, person I'll continue with is from uh, the School of, um, is from Food and Beverage Management. And the sponsor is the Grenada, Grenada Hotel and Tourism Association. So the recipient is Renata Crosby. Um, we do not have a representative. So Ms. Charles, please assist us. Thank you so very much. Oh no, she's here. We have a little mix up. That's all. That's all. A little a little um a little laugh every now and again. That's okay. <laughs> we'll get that going now and there she is. And your associate dean is gonna assist you and we present the award to you. Very nice. We got it right. Very nice. The next award is for electrical technology. The sponsor is Grenada Electricity Services Limited. The recipient of this award is Tristan Charles, Mr. Nigel Noel, Ned Transportation and Distribution Supervisor will present this award. And every year, uh, Grenada Electricity gives a very big award to the recipient, so he has a good start with his electrical work. Um, I, Mr. Ness is saying you have to lift that for yourself. <laughs> All right, wonderful. The next award, here we are. Let's get a photo up. The next award is for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Caribbean Agro Industry Limited is the sponsor. Uh, Shemaya Langain is the recipient. She say that name. I'm sorry, I didn't get that name. Shamar. Shamar Langain. Yes. Mr. Gilbert Spooner, Managing Director. He's going to present that award on behalf of Caribbean Agro Industries Limited. The next award is for Hospitality Studies. The sponsor is Grenada Tourism Authority. Amaya Jeleno is the recipient of this award. Mistress Carl Hoshialik will present this award to Amaya. It is Miss, if she's not here, um, we're asking Miss Charles to assist again. The next award is for Information Technology. 
McIntyre Brothers Limited is the sponsor. Jose Gambo is the recipient of this award. And Mistress Fiona Winsboro will present to Jose. And the final one for this list from the School of Applied Arts and Technology is for Mechanical Technology. And the sponsor is Best of Grenada. The recipient of this award is Elvin Harvey. Uh, Ms. Charles, we do not have a representative, so you will assist us with this. Then we would move on to the School of Continuing Education. Our minister will continue to assist us. And the first award for, from that school is for computer systems and, tech, uh, net, and networking technician. The sponsor is Budget Marine Grenada Limited, Jonathan McQueen. Let's hear it for Jonathan. Mr. Simeon Joseph will present to Jonathan. The next award is for Cosmetology Services Technician. The sponsor is National Lottery Authority. The recipient of this award is Thorel Barry George, and the recipient, the representative, is Mr. Again, um, Mr. Cecil Greenage, and they have done quite a bit of awards, so we are thanking them profusely. The next award is for electrical installation. The sponsor is Sudden Electrical Company Limited. The recipient is Jamie Maloney. And the representative is Mr. Le uh, Mr. Duncan, Lewelyn Duncan. The next award is for fashion design. The sponsor is Shelter Solutions, Inc. Recipient, Krista Frederick. To present is Mr. Paul Antwine. The next award is for General Construction. The sponsor, again, is Grenada Trade Center. The recipient for this award is Jorel Mitchell. The Dean, uh, Dean Alexander, please. Oh, we have a representative from Grenada Trade Center. Mr. Bido again is here to present the award. Thank you so much, Mr. Biddle. The next award is for General Office Administration. The sponsor is Guardian General Insurance Limited. The recipient for this award is Jennifer Patrick. Dean Alexander, please assist us. 
with presenting this award on behalf of the company. The next award is for Hospitality Services. The sponsor is Colombian Emeralds International. The recipient of this award is Chanel Bihari, Mistress Cindy Griffith, Marketing Coordinator, will present to Chanel. If she is not here, Dean, you may have to assist us. Let's give her a hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next award is for Motor Vehicle Engine System. The sponsor, Insurance Consultants Grenada Limited. The, re the recipient is Kishon Glod. Ms. Alexander, stand by. We do not have a represent. Oh, we do. Oh, somebody has came. All right, that's wonderful. Thank you so very much. Oh, the recipient is not here. So, Ms. Alexander, please accept this on behalf of the student. Under the School of Continuing Education, we only have three more for plumbing. The sponsor is National Water and Sewage Authority, Nawasa. Recipient is Terrell Daniel. Again, Ms. Alexander, I'm seeing here we do not have a representative from Nawasa, so please assist us. The next award is for social work, sponsor, Victory Bar and Restaurant. The recipient for this award is Kadeen Modes Samuel. Miss Alicia Gilbert will present on behalf of Victory Bar and Restaurant. Let's not get that mixed up. <laughs> the student will receive the card, graduating student, and the representative from the company will present the award. Let's give them a hand. And now we have the final one for the School of Continuing Education is for the program Sustainable Community Development for Civil Society and Organizations. Sponsor, the Grenada Trade Center. And the recipient is Kanaya Charles. Mr. Bido is coming up again to present this award.
Thank you, Mr. Bido. Thank you, Minister. We so appreciate you assisting us with the distribution of the honor cards. We'll take a short break from this and we would move into another performance. We invite Ms. Jaylene Jones, you heard her earlier, to sing for us, solo performance. And she will be accompanied by the college band and she would deliver hero for us. What you are, there's an answer if you reach into your soul and the sorrow that you know will melt away, and then a hero comes along with the strength to carry. your fears aside and you know you can survive so when you feel like hope is gone look inside you and be strong and you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you Jaylene Jones. We have talent at TAM CC. I just love them. Let's give it up for the band. I now invite 
Dr. Wendy Grenade, Chairperson of the T.A. Marishaw Community College Council, to assist us in presenting award cards to the recipients of special awards. These awards are for SAPS, mainly SAPS students, and they are for special performance in specific areas. Some of them are basically um, the private sector would ask for to award these students in these specific areas. And the other set of awards is for distinguished academic awards. Sponsor, please stand by. Now, this award is for overall top law student. The sponsor, Afi Ventu and Company. Recipient, Timothy Stanislaus. Ms. Afi Ventu. De Vega will present the award. Is Timothy here? Timothy is not here. And so Mr. Ambrose would assist in this regard. <laughs> the next award is for the overall top law student. We had two, Timothy and uh, Stanislaus. And this award is going to be presented to Jada Glean. And Jada, sponsor, is Legal Aid, Legal Aid and Counseling Clinic. We do not have a rep representative, so a chair would present the award as well. This award is for top Muta, top class presenter. The sponsor is Derek Sylvester and associate. The recipient is Galen Phillip. Mr. Derek Sylvester, attorney of, at law, will present the award. And we have two in this category. We have Galen, and we also have another top mooter, top class presenter. Francis K. Paul and Associates is the sponsor. Sharika Hippolyte is the recipient of this award. Um, there's no one here uh, to present, so we we'll ask our chair to present both to Sharika. Congratulations. We have the, t the top performer in mathematics, and this award is sponsored by Sajiko Life Inc. The recipient of this award is Tristan Pavot, Ms. Sherilyn Boca Bettel, branch manager, will present this award to our top math student, and that's Tristan. Pivot. Is Miss uh, Bettel here? Oh, oh, yes, she is. Yes, she is.
This next award is for the top performer in chemistry. Now, Sisson's Paint, this is the very first time we are given this award. Now, Sisson's Paint is going to give that student, uh, if she accepts, um, some cash. And they would also give an internship, if she so accepts. And so, Rochelle Griffith is the recipient of this award. And to present is Mistress Rhea Neckers, Sales and Marketing Manager for Sissons Marketing. Marketing Manager. Now this award is for it is the Anthony Prosper Memorial Award for Excellence in History. This award is sponsored by the University of the West Indies Center in Grenada. The recipient of this award is Kadeen Pascal. Our chair will present to Kadeen. This award is for the Ralston Adams Memorial Award in English Literature. The sponsor, a Tam CC alumni. The recipient of this award is Ms. Atalia Walcott. The chair will make both presentations. And the last but not least for this SAPS Awards is the Alliance, Fran Alliance Francais Award for Excellence in French. The sponsor is Alliance Francais de la Grenade. The recipient of this award is Mackenzie Ogilvy. Mistress Eleanor Ford Gilbert, who is the director will present the award. We now move into the Distinguished Academic Awards and for the best graduating student in St. Patrick and that's at our St. Patrick campus. The sponsor is L.A. Purcell. The recipient is Jennifer Patrick. She has a GPA of 3.97. And Ms. Evelyn Whiteman, who is a manager, will present this award. If she's not here, our chair will make the pre uh, presentation. And again, some of the sponsors, they want to give these awards. So we have the second best graduating students in Kariku. The sponsor is Kariku Grand View Hotel. The recipient for this award is Renee Clement. And Chair is going to assist us with the presentation of this award.
The next award is for the best graduating students in our part-time program that's on the School of Continuing Education. The sponsor is the TA Marshall Community College. The recipient is Kedin Modest Samuel. Chair is going to assist us with this presentation. Oh, Miss, Miss Alexander, we want you for, as Dean to present this award. This award is for the best graduating student in the School of Continuing Education. The sponsor is Sajiko again. Recipient, Jennifer. Patrick. Ms. Sherilyn Boca Bettel, branch manager, is going to present. Best graduating student in Kariku is sponsored by Eddie's Dream Guest House. The recipient is Sashel Alves. Is Sashel here? So, Dean, please accept on her behalf, and our chair will make the presentation. The next award is for the best graduating student in SAAT. The sponsor is the Law Office of Alban John, and that award goes to Jose Gambo. 3.96, that's a very good, very good GPA. Ms. Sherilyn Bartholomew is going to make the presentation if she's not, if she's here. The best graduating student in the School of Art Sciences and Professional Studies is sponsored by the Grenada Bottling Company Limited. And that award goes to Rochelle Griffith. Ms. Renisha Joseph, Commercial Supervisor of the Marketing Department, will make this presentation. We are going to have a special award, and that award is for Student Life. And the sponsor is Kenny Strucking and Equipment Services Limited. And that award goes to Miss Lauri Laurisha Bartholomew. 
Anybody here from Kenny Strucken? If not, the chair is going to make the presentation. We are coming to the end of the award segment. This award is for the second best overall graduating student and the sponsor is Siboni Chambers. Jose Gambo is the recipient of this award. Ms. Danielle Sylvester, Deputy Office Manager, will make the presentation. It so happens that we have two overall second best graduating students. Dana's Tasty Food is the sponsor, and this award goes to Ms. Colleen Blash. GPA of 3.96. Ms. Dana Hercules, general manager, will make the presentation or a representative. Now we have come to the end and we are going to award our overall best performing student for academic excellence. The sponsor is Republic Bank Grenada Limited. Mr. Dorian McPhail, the manager of retail services, is going to make the presentation. Ladies and ge gentlemen, this is a very big one. And this award goes to Ms. Rochelle Griffith. Let's hear it for her. Thank you, Chair of our College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenade, for assisting us, and Mr. McPhail for making the presentation for the overall best student. Vanique Lewis will close us off with some, this part with giving thanks. We want to thank you sponsors, everyone here and those who made presentation and who receive awards. Thank you so very much. After this, our principal, Dr. Ronald Brunton, will give some brief remarks and then we would give the vote of thanks and then head straight into our dinner. Okay, so we'll have our principal after we just have some thank yous and first our student Vanique Lewis is going to bless us with some thank you in song. One.
give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say, Dr. Ronald Brunton will close off, off with some brief remarks. Good evening, everyone. Um, indeed, uh, our protocol has been observed quite a few times tonight. Um, but before I proceed, I do want to recognize and thank um, the Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency Dame Cecil Le Grenard, uh, for being with us here tonight, for assisting with the presentations. Um, I would like to recognize the Minister of Education, Youth, Sports, and Culture, the Honorable Senator Mr. David Andrew, and of course, our gracious chairperson, of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenard, as well as members of the College Council. I wish to recognize as well 
members of the Ministry of Education, um, particularly Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sport and Culture, Mr. Elvis Maureen, other representatives of the Government of Grenada, all our distinguished guests here tonight, our esteemed faculty, proud parents, family, friends, and well-wishers, and of course, most importantly, the incredible awardees of the T.A. Marichaux Community College. We give you a round of applause. <laughs> uh, firstly, I would like to say just a few words of thanks to all of the members of staff of the T.A. Marichaux Community College, particularly members of the graduation committee for an excellent session tonight, an excellent event tonight. And of course, the chairperson of that committee, Ms. Marva Bowen Neptune, for the many sleepless nights, the many hours uh, in terms of planning, meeting, um, collaborating, and making this event such a special evening for all of us and for our awardees tonight. Indeed, thank you very, very much. Again, round of applause, please. Um, indeed, it is a privilege to be here tonight to stand before this gathering of remarkable individuals who are about to take a giant step into the future, actually a giant leap into the future. To our awardees, I offer my heartiest congratulations to the honors and awards that you have earned and that you have received here tonight. You have not only reached this milestone, you have excelled, you have shown, you have set the bar high for what is possible. Today is a testament to your dedication, your late night study sessions, your unwavering commitment, and the countless sacrifices that you have made. But let me be clear, you did not do this alone. Look around you at the people who have been your bedrock, your support system, and your guiding stars, your lecturers, the ones who have been both your mentors as well as your toughest critics, your parents and loved ones who have been there through the thick and thin, and all the friends and family members who have lifted you up when the weight of the world felt overwhelming. They, too, deserve recognition today. Thank you. As we honor your achievements tonight, I wish also to recognize the many challenges and sacrifices that your lecturers, your teachers, the faculty of the T.M. Show Community College have made in order to get you to where you are tonight. Indeed, as we reflect on the recent celebrations of World Teachers' Day, which was celebrated last Thursday, our faculty here indeed deserve a round of applause for their contribution to your success. <laughs> Awardees, tonight you should reflect on the winding journey that brought you to this moment, a journey filled with trials, triumphs and countless lessons. You have preserved through sleepless nights and daunting challenges. You have weathered storms, emerged stronger. You have grown into scholars, leaders, and change makers. But this moment is not just about the past, it's about the future. It's about the boundless possibilities that await you beyond these walls, beyond the walls of TAMCC. As you step into the world you will encounter, there will be challenges, setbacks, and uncertainties. That's the nature of life, so you're going to have to get used to it. But I want you to remember that the very fact that you are standing here amongst us tonight, adorned with these accolades, is testament to your resilience, your talent, and your unyielding spirit. 
You have what it takes to face adversities head on, to chart new horizons, and to drive positive change. Each one of you is a beacon of hope, a source of inspiration, and a force for good in this world. And yes, you do belong here on this stage tonight, collecting those honors and those awards for your achievements. Indeed, you hold the potential to bring about transformative change, to, bring, to build bridges where there are divides, to turn adversity into opportunities. The knowledge that you have gained, the skills that you have honed, and the values that you embrace, they will guide you in the days and the years to come. In the words of the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the ultimate measure of a person is not where they stand in moments of comfort and convenience, but where they stand during challenges and controversies. You stand here today as a symbol of the potential within each and every one of you. So, to our esteemed awardees, of the T.A. Marishow Community College, I say this, keep dreaming big, keep striving for excellence, and keep pushing the boundaries of what is possible. In the face of adversity, remember the strength and resilience that you have developed. You are the authors of your own destiny, and your story is just only beginning. Congratulations, and thank you for showing the world what it means to be the change that you wish to see. The world awaits your brilliance, your compassion, and your leadership. Thank you, and God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Brenton. Um, I now invite Ms. Italia Walcott who is an awardee here tonight and was awarded to give the vote of thanks. On the protocol already established, I extend a heartfelt good night to everyone present. Appreciation is a wonderful thing. It makes what is excellent in others belong to us as well. Voltaire, a French Enlightenment writer, historian, and philosopher. I was appointed to give the vote of thanks for this evening's proceedings. As expected of me, I accepted with grace and readiness to deliver at the best of my ability. Therefore, it is fitting that we come to a common understanding of what it is to give thanks. A thank you or the expression of gratitude in today's world is a concept often underestimated and often taken for granted. We tend to go about our daily lives, whether it be to work or to school, and we often fail to carry gratitude along the way. However, Little do we know or do we remember that it is most times the act of giving thanks that places a heart at rest. It can be yours or someone else's. So today, kindly allow me to express gratitude on behalf of all present today. Firstly, as we live in a Christian value-based society, it is of utmost importance that I offer up this event's activity in thanksgiving to almighty God. We thank him always for the protection of our nation and its operations and for guiding the heads of our society. I also thank him for the committed management of the T.A. Marisho Community College, resulting in yet another successful addition of transformed individuals into our world. I go on to thank Her Excellency, Dame Cecile Lagrenade, Governor General of Grenada, for gracing our ceremony today with our 
with her presence as she assisted us in the distribution of award cards, which serves as a symbol of support and love for the milestones accomplished by the nation's young minds. It assures us that we are taking a step in the right direction and we are thankful for that confirmation. Moving along my lands of gratitude, I express a heartwarming thank you to Deacon Raphael Johnson, Diocese of St. George's Coordinator of the Mechanical Department for gracing this evening's ceremony with a word of prayer. I express gratitude to Senator the Honorable David Andrew, Minister of Education, for, his warming, for warming his seat here with us this fine evening in the distribution of award cards. Likewise, your attendance here today reinforces us awardees of the right turn we have taken in the betterment of ourselves and our country. You serve as a reminder that our investments of yesterday are now bearing fruit. Continuing along my lines of gratitude, I say an immense thank you to Dr. Ronald Bruton, principal of the college, for his inspirational address to us awardees. With great need, I give a deep sense of appreciation to Mistress Marva Bowen Neptune, Register and Chair of the Graduation Committee, as well as the Chairperson for this evening's proceedings. Ms. Andrea McLeod, Chair of the Arts and Humanities Department, SAPS, for her wonderful welcome remarks. Trelana Charles, Corporate Communications Officer, for gracing for graciously, sorry, introducing this evening's ceremony's featured speaker. Dr. Carolyn Henry Parker, Director of Master of Education, Lead Division Director, St. George's University, for your featured address on today's theme, Celebrating Academic Excellence, which further enlightened us all on the purpose of today. Dr. Wendy Grenade, Chair of the College Council for assisting in the distribution of award cards to our young people this evening. I continue to thank Mr. Bowen Neptune as the Chair of the Graduation Committee and all members for the commitment towards the success of the college. I thank all corporate sponsors, the College Council, Senior Management of the College, Finance Committee and the Academic Board for functioning as a team for the greater good of all who might enter the walls of Tamsisi. We are also extremely grateful for the staff and organization of the college, for their nonstop devotion over its years of existence, especially during our time there. Moreover, we now know for a fact that running a tertiary educational institution is not for the weak-minded, and today, we stand tall as stories of success as a result of your investment in us. Today we bloom as roses, shining in the glory of fertilization and molding we have received in our time at Tamsisi. However, as we all know, as with roses comes thorns. And in fact, we as students sometimes and most times were thorns. In the light of the not-so-pleasant times, we say thank you for your patience expressed, mercies and sacrifices made over the years, which, without a doubt, contributed to a successful today. I also thank Jalen Jones and Nathan Neptune for leading us in our national anthem, along with Katie Danglade, Marcus Smith, Mekendo de Gale, and Vernick Lewis, along with the Tam CC College Band for their lusty, lusty musical renditions. As I make my way to the end of my appreciation, I would like to specially thank our parents and guardians for believing in your children. You may never truly understand the wings you have placed on them today. Maybe until you truly see them fly. From the bottom of my heart, and as a survivor, emerging from among your young ladies and your young men, I truly say thank you for not giving up on us, for allowing us to follow our dreams, our passion, no matter what it required you to give or stay without. We may never truly be able to repay your goodness, but I can assure you, with the quality filling this room this evening, your investments today were not in vain and will not be in vain. So we say thank you. Now I would like to give my hats off to my fellow awardees 
and say not only congratulations, but also thank you for not giving up. Thank you for not giving up on yourselves. Thank you for not giving up on each other. Thank you for not giving up on each other. For today, we begin to reap the harvest of our labor. We reap what we have sown. We apply what we have learned and the training we have endured to the betterment of ourselves and all who we encounter, whether it be in the world of work or in further study. Kudos to you guys and well done. Last but not least, I thank all organizers of today for this platform in which we were recognized, appreciated, and celebrated for our efforts. The hands behind our accommodation and the refreshments, we say thank you. May the ever-living God above continue to bless us all and keep us safe until the end of our days. I will end with a famous quote from the first president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, and I say, Education is a most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And I repeat, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Once again, a hearty thank you, everyone. And thank you, Atalia, for giving the thank you. Um, we now come to the end of this formal setting. We are going to be, you're going to be served dinner. We're going to start first with table one. And table one would be served. The ushers, you are going to lead the um, other tables to the buffet. Um, while that is happening, our Tam CC band will serenade and play for us and we want to thank them so much for doing this for us all the practicing they were here late last night we were all here late last night making sure we get everything together so we will call Denisha while um, the, the arrangements are being made for dinner to be served she will be um, serenading us as we close off the evening thank you so very much this is the end of my hosting here with you. Thank you very much. Stepping off the plane It's so easy to breathe again Life in the big city Has finally took its toll This beautiful island Where there's so much to see Where every corner I turn There's something there to remind me Of my beautiful nation And what it means to me Not a thing out of place That's what's special about it So much to see For every gone I turn There's something there to remind me Of my beautiful nation